Well, guys, look who it is. Steampunk Steve came by to say hello. Yeah, so it was kind of giving me more moral support than anything. I've kind of reached a, a dead end point with my enthusiasm for this build. I am excited to get on the road. But boy, oh boy. This is not exactly what I expected when I signed up for this. Of course, I am thrilled how it turned out, though. Uh, the fact that I was able to build with so many people and experience a kind of generosity which is a very unique thing in life. Not everybody gets a chance to be the recipient of so much love and support and and just generosity. So I can't really complain. The bus is looking pretty awesome. It's almost done. Together, uh, installed a, um, a, a Wii Boost cell phone booster that was in a, a standalone video just as a thank you to the company because I've been using their products for uh, several years um, and uh, actually since Jim in Denver recommended it and Jim in Denver also recommended my unlimited hotspot which I wish I could tell you guys about but they don't offer it anymore it's only 20 bucks and me and exploring with Josh and Cody we ran that sucker up to 120 gigs one month, and my bill was still $22 and one penny. One penny. So, uh, today's video, we're just going to have more of a casual sort of video. Uh, we mounted the Wii Boost over there, ran wires and all that stuff, and spliced into a power source, you know, and all that fun stuff here, which I did. You know, I like, you know, watching, but I also like doing. Um, you know, and, 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 and so the things that I can do, it makes me feel nice and, and, you know, it's like this reward, right? I feel accomplished. I feel like, yeah, you know, you're learning stuff that you never, you know, had a chance to learn. So, here's, we got two things to do. I took uh, uh, this um, stereo down to uh, Stereo Pad in Tucson. Really nice guys. If anybody's from, in, from Tucson, you've probably heard of them because they've been around since... Well, way before I was born. Um, so, everything's ran except we got to put a GPS antenna up top. So, we got to take this off. And then we need to figure out a way to get this massive CB um, radio cable through. I'm thinking maybe drill on the other side of this. This little thing looks like it pops off. You know, maybe just drill a hole right here. And then just go in. I don't really know. Or it could go down and then just pop in right there. I don't know. How are you guys doing today? Throw a comment down below. Tell me how your day is when what you're up to right now, this very second that you're watching this video. Uh, regarding the book um, giveaway, I have not yet picked a winner, so why don't we do that right now? Full transparency, this is how I am picking a winner. So I'm in my uh, YouTube app, and there are many, many entries. I'm just going to scroll down. Um... Let's see. I'm going to scroll down, make sure all of them are loaded so I can give it a fair chance to everybody who uh, left a comment. And thank you guys so much for leaving a comment. Uh, if anybody doesn't win and would like to uh, get a copy of this book, it is on Amazon. Um, and uh, it is on my Amazon Influencer Store, uh, as well as I think I put a link in this video. And I'll, I'll try to remember to put one in here as well. I'll just scroll through and just stop. Sounds like a good book, Clinton. All right. Hi, Clinton, comma, you have one, period. Oh, gosh. I need a microphone. You know, what I told my aunt I would do for her is, is I would grab a whole case of these books uh, personally signed by her to uh, to do more giveaways um, and for those of you who don't know I'm just kind of spreading the words my aunt uh, it's a very good book and um, yeah so just getting the word out and helping and also if any youtubers uh, you know Audra Carolyn you know anybody who's a reader uh, please let me know privately uh, in a private message Instagram or if you have my number uh, hit me up or email and I would love to get the book out to you and uh, if you're a reader you could you know share your honest opinions and thoughts and uh, help spread the word uh, my aunt's been working on this for 15 years she's been like a second mom to me um, 
and just one of the most generous, nice ladies uh, I could I could have ever been born into uh, in, in, for for my family. So I just want to make sure that she gets some you know some good support and some good uh, you know feedback and 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 exposure because she definitely deserves it. And actually, we're gonna have to talk to her. She's a former nomad, drove all the way up to Alaska in an RV, and that is where most of the book was written in the summertime. Pretty cool. By herself and a dog. That's pretty badass. Alaska, Alaska, Alaska. So I did something interesting on Instagram. I posted a, a story, and I said, anyone down for Alaska this summer? And I have a little voting thing there, and it says uh, yes and no, and... 80% of the people said yes, and 80% of the people is exactly 81 people, and uh, so <laughs> is anyone down for an Alaska caravan this summer? Uh, please comment down below and let me know if you would be down, because look at all these people. Um, <laughs> wouldn't that be crazy? You know, and, and I'm thinking now that this channel has grown, I w I'm thinking to myself that I should, you know, kind of... Um, Throw together some 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 fun activities, uh, you know, or, or or a caravan or something like that. So, I'm thinking this could be pretty cool. Caravan with Jacks up to Alaska. Uh, now that's of course assuming that I, you know, don't uh, become rich and famous before then. But chances are good we'll we'll end up going to Alaska this summer. And uh, you know, once I get a little things figured out on my end, transmission, some other responsibilities of my own. Uh, of course, have to budget it out, things like that. I'm thinking this could be a great idea. We could get up to Alaska, go on group hikes, you know, have the buddy system. You know, we could tag team bears and steal the salmon right out of their mouths and take turns. You know, it'd be like two on two wrestling, you know what I mean? It could be really awesome. And uh, yeah, so there's a lot of, you know, open land up there. And if we rolled in someplace with 10 rigs or more, I really think that would be completely okay. So this is open to any viewers, YouTubers, um, anybody on a, any kind of motorized vehicle for the most part, leaving from, because I know somebody's going to ask me, the West Coast, go up through Washington, uh, pass kind of Vancouver area, and then make our way up, hit some of the mountains, uh, maybe some hot springs, and then make our way up, you know, for a couple weeks, um, maybe averaging, say, three hours a day, four hours a day driving. Uh, nothing too hard, bring your fishing pole, bring your gear, and bring your mosquito spray, because we know how bad it's gonna be. Let me catch you up on what we were doing. By the way, Steve is back. Uh, <laughs> God knows why. <laughs> he was passing through town, and he said, hey. I haven't had Mexican or, or Chinese in a while. I should visit Jack's. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so, right now we have this wire for a CB radio. And if someone says, why are you installing a CB radio? Well, to tell you the truth, I don't really know, but... So you can talk to me! <laughs> the Alaska trip. I heard it's good to have a CB radio for uh, far-off places like Alaska. So, I want to be prepared, so that's what we're going to do. Job number two is putting this uh, GPS antenna on the roof. There's an existing hole back behind here. So we're going to access that. We're going to take this off again. Which is why I didn't finish some of the... What, yes? Are you okay? You having breathing issues? Oh, we should run like a half a dozen more wires there, just to be sure. <laughs> he's not He's not wrong. Uh, which is part of, part, of the why, uh, part of the reason why I didn't finish this, because you have to kind of tilt and pull it out and all. Anyways, you get the idea. So we're going to drill a hole, a massive hole, for this here. I hope this is the right one. Okay, guys, this is what we're going to do. We're going to drill a hole. Steve's going to be on the it's right where my side. finger is. <laughs> so. Uh, we're going in this kind of blind, but I think we can make it work. So here, let me pass this over to Steve. Let's hope for the best. Thoughts and prayers. Jackson tools. Not exactly really sharp. I'm going to change Try and get one I haven't used before. Or damaged before. I should say. Oh yeah. It should be coming through right about there. There we go, now we're grabbing. See how close I predicted. Oh, 
I was off by that much. I, Ooh, predi I predicted here. Nice. So that's a good spot. That is a good spot. You know, Steve, since I'm feel, feeling so cool today, I'm going to put my shades on. But actually, it's because these are hot shards flying out of here. This is the closest thing to a safety glasses I have. Which is why I'm leaning back. Lean back. So what he, what Jax is using is a step bit. These are and great. If you buy them, get them on Amazon because they're one tenth the price. Ow. I used the cone bit, also known as a step up bit, and we uh, drilled a hole and then I put a grommet in there. So, uh, you know, I'm learning. And, you know, it's, Building is more fun with other people, way more fun with Steve Punk Steve. And, uh, you know, then I get to at least kind of check my work and I don't get paranoid that I'm going to screw everything up. Because honestly, I get afraid I'm going to mess this all up. And then it kind of paralyzes my, my momentum. Alright guys, uh, exciting things here. This is a uh, GPS um, antenna for... Uh, this uh, Pioneer system and what I did was delicately uh, took this clip off which goes into the back of the radio and I just kind of pried it here with this uh, razor blade there's a little edge there so uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna quickly drill a hole mount it up there run the wires and then plug it in here good news oh by the way KCRW app is my favorite you should download it it's free commercial free community supported and we're gonna have to hit that because of copyright but this is like the most amazing app it's a community supported radio uh, they have the live they have eclectic 24 which is music they have news 24 which is NPR it's awesome um, they have podcasts and all kinds of stuff anyways back to the radio we plugged in the GPS it's on the roof we drilled a hole life is good over here Steve still has his beard and uh, so yeah I'm gonna jump on the roof and play with some adhesive so Steve has these really cool what do you even call these things they're, they're fiberglass rods for pulling wire and they're very flexible Did you get them at Har Harbor Freight uh, I got them at Harbor Freight they sell two different kinds this these are like three feet long and they sell two foot long ones yeah but they all screw together that's awesome And they come in a tube I think it's like 30 feet long so basically fish tape but in short segments cool so as you can see I'm just taking the tape off of here thanks Steve um, I tightly taped it I, I like the electrical tape it's a little uh, elastic and you know doesn't leave a residue and it's thin so I don't know there we go perfect so we just fed this wire down down. We didn't have to take this off, thank God. Oh, it's the devil. It's it's not fun. It, it's just, <laughs> plus I got the speakers in now, whatever. So we ended up going right behind here. There's like two grommets in there. Uh, grommets are just rubber things that, you know, to protect the wires. Anyways, ran it down, fished it through there. Here, we'll run it around and I don't, we'll, we'll do something with that CB radio at some point. All right, picking up where we put down. This is the following day. And I just want to thank Steve for coming by to, uh, yesterday. It was honestly so much fun. It was so much more fun being here by myself. Like I am right now. But just to show you guys, working on some things. Got this little paracord, <clears throat> excuse me, paracord stuff. I'm not a fan of things flopping around, banging in, you know. Metal banging into metal, rattling. It's not the best job though. It's slightly askew. But anyways, let me show you how easy it is. All right. So when you put it up, you just take this off, replace it, lock it back in place. That's why I don't. I didn't need to have an extra eye hook, eye bolt, right? Because it uses the same thing. So nice and clean, nice and easy. Hopefully nobody puts their baby on here. This is not a baby changing station. I, I don't know if the paracord is strong enough for dirty diapers. So if you see me at a tiny house festival, or if you see me parked, don't use it for that. But feel free to use the uh, solar power charging station in the back. I have a low battery and I'm not really sure what else I'm gonna do. It's a little on the warm side, even 
in the winter time here. It's a rip roar in 70 degrees. Um, I'll check in with you guys in a little bit and let you know what kind of mischief I get into. Also, if you guys are wondering what is going on with the cell phone uh, booster today, the WeBoost 4G XOTR on the road is consistently doubling my data speeds. So if anybody's out there, any YouTubers, anybody who works on the road, anybody who is a Netflix addict, this is a product for you. All right, I did something extremely handy. Probably should have done this before. This is my to-do list. Ceiling whitewash, wire chased, stay in the bathroom, paint, poly, wire chase, wall sconce, closet bathroom doors, transmission, then floors, then trim, cushions, exterior paint, I'm going to put more paint on, filter the vegetable oil, secure sink, shower curtain, curtains. All right, and I'm back. So here's the update right now. <coughs> I'm, uh... Here to work. I bought some more cedar. I got this. Uh, this stuff is from Lowe's. I bought some stuff from Home Depot. It didn't really fit that well because uh, it came from a different mill, and I didn't know this, but um, all wood is not the same, <laughs> right? So if it comes from a different mill, it has different thicknesses, uh, different source, you know, all that stuff. So, anyways, what I'm now focusing on is taking pictures. This might sound you might be like, what? I thought you were trying to get your bus done. Well, part of my responsibility is uh, to take pictures for a sponsor, so it's driving me crazy. So I'm actually gonna put, put a big pause on my progress. And I'm gonna take the bus out tomorrow. I'm probably not gonna film it. If I do, you will know. But um, anyways, I'm in picture mode in my brain because I have this strange fear of failure. Uh, so if I don't do it, I'm gonna like freak out.